Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And first, before we hop in, I just want to say happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers. And I'm sure everyone that is around you greatly appreciates you. So I just want to get that out to you all. So we are going to be taking a look at what I brought myself for Mother's Day. And I did get some other things. I got like a nice mm, 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 seafood crab broil. I got that too. Mm. Okay, but let's go ahead and, and, and do what we're gonna do, okay? So, all right, um, as you guys know, I do do budgeting, and I'm just gonna, um, I know this is a little bit off topic, but what I did with my budgeting, I actually have a budget envelope that I pretty much just, I was saving money from this envelope, putting it to the side each time I would stuff it for the two weeks to save up for my Mother's Day present. So I am like super hyped and super excited. So I guess you guys can tell by the, like the title of the video, what I got, but let me show you, bring your own in. Okay, all right, so I confess I am like a freaking, what do you wanna call it? I am like obsessed with Animal Crossing. I like the little characters. I like kawaii stuff. I like little fun animal stuff, colorful stuff, you guys know. So when I first got the game, I wasn't even gonna play it, but shout out to Robin who told me, she was like, why don't you just try Animal Crossing when I was asking you guys about um, the games, good games to play on a Nintendo Switch and Animal Crossing was one. She told me that about like two, two times she told me that and I finally caved in and got it and I actually really love it. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I got. Um, this right here is um, basically a Midori um, notebook and I got this off of Amazon. Everything that I have, I'll put it down in my Amazon storefront. So if you guys like it or you say, hey, that's cool, then um, it should all be in there for you to easily, you know, click and find. And I do get like a little incentive off of that because it's an affiliate link, but all of you guys support means a lot to me. So thank you so much for always supporting me. So this right here, I just got, um, these are stickers I made. I don't sell these stickers because um, I got these off of like Pinterest, Google, and I just kind of made them because I couldn't find any good ones because um, when I read the reviews on the one on Amazon, they do have the ones on Amazon. You have to kind of go through them um, just to see what the reviews are, but I just went ahead and I'll link some in the description, but I'll, I just made some myself. These little flowers are like kind of like 3D so they're from the dollar store. So these little letters, I was in Target, minding my business, and I did find these right here. I got two packs of them. They were on clearance for $2.50. Go team, right? Okay, so in this right here, I just got, um, I do have some stencils that I did get from Amazon, and I almost forgot about these, and I did, I'll link these in the description box too, so these are a bunch of stencil. These things are like pretty awesome. Um, they work really well. And um, I'll show you a couple, like this one you'll see that I use in my, um, Aiden is going crazy y'all <laughs> in the background. Um, he's watching Stinky and Dirty. Okay, all right, so this is one of the stencils that you will see that I used. And um, my book, okay, so this right here, vision board, I just recently got it, so I need to pretty much, I'm gonna put this to the side, I need to pretty much figure out, finish this, and I've got stickies on what I wanna do. I have a little inbox here, and then morning task and night task, and let's zone in for a little bit. All right, so these are like yearly goals and things that I can check off, and this is a little Tom Nook I drew. So I use like mount liners, and I think I had like a couple Tombos, but I just drew that, and these are the 3D flowers there, and then actions for the steps for the yearly goals. So I just use these little tabs, these are from Avery. And then I did, this is where I showed you the stencil. I did a payday in here. And then I did 52 weeks um, stencil that um, I told you guys I use, which was this one. So you can use them in different sizes. So um, they work really well. So this is, this paper is pretty thick and I got this off Amazon, came in like two days. So, um, and this is a Midori A5. So that is one of the things that I've got myself. All right, so this right here is, whew, this is the lovely one of all. Okay, so this right here um, was out of stock for a long time. So I just happened to say, hey, let me just go ahead and check the Hobonichi website because on the Hobonichi website, this is like two times less than what they sell them in the USA. So I said, I'll just go ahead and just wait. And the pen that I use inside of here is a Sarasa Dry Drift Grip 0 0.4 um, Zebra Dry Zell. I got this from um, cloth and paper like years and years and years ago. And I actually just found this in my pen stash. 
so and I didn't realize that it write really well and it dries pretty good so that's why I did it okay so um, this right here is just the Animal Crossing um, cover I got a cover over cover I'm gonna bend it back a little bit so the light won't hit it but as you can see it's like a continuous cover and all of the games and stuff that I've been playing through there a lot of these things I'm starting to see like here like I got a scuba I got a, what is it a scuba suit a wetsuit or something where I can swim in the ocean now but the um, the little pictures where will you call it the little um, print goes all the way out to the little pin loops there and then I do have a cover over cover because I don't want it to get nasty so I did do that so in the inside isn't it just so cute y'all so in the inside this is the same thing that I had for my Hobonichi this was like a little Hobonichi stencil you can get this off of the Hobonichi website they do sell these on Amazon too um, I do have these are little die cuts that I just laminated like I told you I just got these off the internet and then this is Timmy and Tommy and I just did little die cuts he'll probably fall down in here a little bit because the, the pockets are pretty big so it's like a little small pocket here you have another pocket a pocket a pocket a pocket and um, then you have a big pocket here I just pretty much put stickers in this pocket here and then you have I just keep this little book it's super cool but the thing about this Japanese one I always get it because I get the Google Translate um, app and then I just put you can do from Japanese to English and then it'll show you tell you exactly what these things say you just put it over top of your phone over top of it and then it'll say exactly so that's how I get to read a lot of the things so this right here the one that I got is a Hobonichi cousin is the spring edition techno I know I used to say techno is techno and um, I do have the 3d stickers and I do have some of the little stickers that I made um, for and I just put it inside and this is a Midori cover now when I first put the Midori a5 cover on here it was a little bit stiff and I was getting kind of nervous but once I kept going back and forth like playing with it like putting the stickers taking it out and putting it back in it did a lot better for me so that was pretty good and then I probably put some things in here because these are like just a little die cuts things that I kind of made stickers and stuff like that all right so word that I want to focus on for this year is pretty much focus all right, so we have little stickers there, and I don't want to do too much, but I do want to make it fun because I want it to be pretty much functional um, planner. So then we have the Hobonichi Techno 2022, and I just put a little, this is probably Cricut, but I put a little um, Tom Nook on there. Look at his little sweater, y'all, and this is the spring edition. So this right here, I was looking for some stickers to put here. I was looking on some Etsy shops. Um, because I get so confused with the Monday, which is it a Monday or does it start with, is it Saturday, Sunday, or is this Saturday? So I need to, I probably will find some. I think I found one, but I, I'm having a hard time finding some. Because I think there's like a lot of things for the weeks, but not for the Hobonichi Cousin. Um, so this is just basically your year at a glance. So you have 2022, 2021, 2023. And then usually it's like a white piece that with different things you can put here that when the sticker kits they have for that, which is awesome. Now this right here, um, the trackers, um, it's like a monthly. And basically what I did, I'm just using it for budgeting and I don't mind y'all seeing this because guess what? I have a budgeting channel, right? All right, so I just did up here, I just did the paydays for each month. Um, and then I just have what bill comes out. And as you can see, once it is paid, I check it off. And then I have property taxes, which is pretty much already paid. So I check that off. And I'm not sure what I'm going to use these bottom ones for. So if you have suggestions of what you use, if you do use the Hobonichi, y'all, Hobonichi, really? Hobonichi, <laughs> if y'all have one to put it down here. Okay, so that's what this is. And then these little tabs, I did get this off of Amazon. These are just little, I think they're Avery, um, foil tabs i think i got these from there i think that's where i got them from all right so now about these tabs here i did order these off amazon y'all these tabs are freaking amazing um i wrote on here with just a black sharpie marker it dried super quick and um yeah and it doesn't smear and i got these off amazon and like i said i'll link everything in the description box below so this right here is by diverse b these are 24 monthly tabs and then on the back of it it does tell you monthly tab installation guide so it does help you with the tab alignment which is awesome and then it tells you tips and everything like that now i did kind of position this a little bit off some of these and i was able to peel them back off and put it back on and 
I was able to do it with this Hobonichi paper, so which was weird, and I was excited. I mean, I did have to take my time, but it did allow me to reposition them, and I'm gonna show you guys how they come. So it comes in this tight pack here. Oop, I can't grab it. So this is what, and I'm gonna peel one up so you guys can kind of see like the quality of it. So look at this. So, so that is the quality of these. Um, monthly tabs so it's monthly tabs um january through december and then you have these that you can write on them and that's what i did right there i just wrote on um the tabs of the extra ones that i wanted and let's see so i started it in may and then i have bill tracker and then i have my monthlies and then for the monthlies um all the monthlies are in the front and this is just how like i told you i'm trying to do it where it's not a lot of stickers i will use stickers in there but not a lot but i want it to be a little bit more functional um for you know for planning so that is all your months and it goes to may so this goes to um 2023 may of 2023 i was gonna say 2023 of may but may of 2023 all right so next you have your weeklies and i do like the weeklies because it starts from 5 a.m because usually sometimes i get up super early and then it goes all the way to 4 a.m because a lot of the planners I know they start at seven or six and then it ends up at like eight or nine. But for those of us that kind of stay up a little bit later, um, this works out pretty good. And I'm going to show you guys what how I did it. And I just did mine's like this. And that's how that that worked. And then um, I just did a line because I'll put like notes down here. Um, so this right here, I do like these right here, the little um, tassels. These are like super cute because they have the little teeny um, signature leaf on the bottom, which is super cool. And it gives it weight so it doesn't like just sit here and not, you know what I'm saying? It gives it weight so that it hangs down a little bit. So that's why I like that. All right. So next you got June and then I just did all of my tabs for um, all of my tabs for the month. And then when it changes to another month, it just basically go into the next month so it's not like it grazed it out and goes to another one so that's where it goes and then you have the month here at a glance you have that on the side and then it tells you which week is ninth week and then that's the fourth week so that tells you that so next um we have the daily section so this is what the daily section look like this is like the i think it's the avec it's the a6 size um so that is what that is and i do have one all right so this is one that i had for i had this a long time all right so but, this is what the smaller avac size look like so it's like this for the daily so it's the same thing actually um but this one yeah like i said i've had this one for like a couple years but um this is you have daily pages but how i figured out that i'm going to actually use the daily pages is i am actually going to how this i'm gonna go back to this so this is my week here. I'm gonna do this so we can see both. So this is my week. And so like this just shows you like for time blocking. So I have shop stuff. So basically for my daily pages, I can basically detail what shop stuff I'm gonna do. All right, so for chores, I got clean dishes, vacuum floors, dust ceiling fans and blinds. I have it where I can put those there and break them up. And then once I do it, I can check. All right, so for appointments, I can put here that I'm going to the DMV. I have that I might, I'm gonna try to go here, just walk in, but if not, I did schedule an appointment for that day so that way I can put that there. Budget bills, I don't have anything due. This is like for my Animal Crossing of where I did get a scuba suit. I know I was telling you guys that. And then this is for like six to seven for dinner. So this is what I can write down exactly for dinner. But I know that dinner is gonna be from six to seven. So that's, and then social media, I can have that where I kind of, you know what I'm saying, kind of jot down what I'm gonna do. So basically this is just like, like I said, it's just like a time block. I look, uh, oh, I got shop stuff. Then I go back here like, okay, what do I have to do? So that's what that pretty much is for. Um, that's just my brain of, how I'm going to use it so this goes all the way um to all the way to March it looks like so this goes to March and then this is my contact sheet I can't show you guys that all right so then this is my hundred and then this is like some things written in Japanese and like I said if you have the Google Translate you can pretty much um put that on there you have a thing for gifts and I'm not sure what this is D 
a date table, I'm not sure. And then addresses, and it says it's for eight people. <laughs> All right, so then you get these cute little stickers. I've already used them, and this is what the stickers look like. They're like Tom Nook, Isabella, and then um, all the other ones. And then you have like the coins, the presents, just these are like super cute and they look cute when you use them. And then I, in, I end up getting a pencil board and I thought the pencil board was gonna be um, cardboard. I'm not sure why I thought that, but it's actually like this um, very flexible material. And on the back, it has the little leaves that match, but this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, they said when you write, you're supposed to put this under here so that I guess it helps with the writing. So you just do that and put that there. And then it does give you a good smooth um, edge to write. So, and then as you guys saw that I could actually uh, have a pocket here and this says 2020 Nintendo. And then this is the back and you can put your pen in the pen loops to close it up. So I'm gonna put my thing back here. I know y'all, I love fun stuff. So y'all probably like, what in the world do you have? All right, so then it has this pocket back here that you can put stuff in there. And that is that. But like I said, if you go to the Hobonichi site, you can get it for a good deal, but the shipping can um, get you. So it all depends. So this is quick video, guys, what I got with my money for budgeting, what I got for Mother's Day for myself. So let me know in the comments, guys, if you use a Hobonichi or whatever your plans are, let me know. All right. And then guys, if you have not already followed me on my Instagram, be sure to follow me on my Instagram channel and TikTok is called A Pink Cloth Life. And then if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share, share, share. I like it, like it, like it. And then like I always say, until next time, guys, peace.